Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. We're all heading to Helmdahl and we're in actually, we're in two separate groups, but we're all going to the same direction. So we're all on the train this time, which is rare. But let's see what's gonna happen because we got the two, we always get the two troublemakers in our group, which is Fee and Laura this time. So we'll see what happens. And if you guys like this video, then please give it a big fat like and subscribe to the channel for more. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This semi-express line is bound for Heimdall. Our next stop is Heimdall, the terminus of this express line. Please ensure you have all your belongings with you when disembarking the train. I'm so glad this announcer didn't like bother to super speed their texts and I'm over here struggling. Ooh, looks like we're almost there. Indeed, it does feel as though our train ride was all was all that long. <laughs> well, Heimdall's just a stone's throw west of Trista. We could just go back to Trista at night. Well, yes, that's true, but <laughs> plenty plenty of people commute to work in the capital every day, after all. Is someone going to be watching our train again? Exactly on time. Is it the maiden? Huh? It kind of sounded like Sarah, but I'm pretty sure she's not here. I knew it. It is you. You're sad. Is it the icy maiden? Is that her name? You're I forgot. The railway military police, if memory serves me correctly. You're Captain Claire, was it? That's right. I'm glad you remember me. I believe it's been about three months since we last met. So, oh, this must be the woman the group who went to Keldic encountered. So this is an officer from the fearsome RMP? Um, since you're here, does that mean you're going to be the one assigning our tasks for this month's field study? No, I'm just here to provide a place for you to talk with the person who is. He should be here any moment now. Oh, here he comes. I swear to God, if it's Machias' it's dad. Perfect timing. No way. Yeah, even he shot. He's like, no. Yep, it is his dad. Aw, he made time for you. Dad? Huh. I've seen him in the Imperial Chronicle before. Governor Regnitz, one of the reformists' most influential voices. So this is Machias' father. <laughs> this is the first time I've met most of you, so let me introduce myself. You look just like your dad. Oh my god. I'm Carl Regnitz, Machias' father. I'm the governor of Heimdall and head of the local government. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Okay, so what are you about to make us do? My apologies for the location. I would have preferred to brief you in City Hall. But I'm regrettably short on time, so I had to ask the captain here to lend us this room. Anyway, let's move on to confirming your assignments and lodgings. Hold on! 
do you, of all people, end up being the one to sort out our logics and tasks? It seems a little too convenient. I swear, he's probably going to say in the next 30 seconds, Oh yes, I'm one of the directors of the, I'm at the board of directors of your school. You didn't know that? Bet money. He, that's what he's about to freaking say. Yeah, yeah, now that you mention it. You wouldn't mind us asking, sir, how did you wind up as our point of contact? Uh -huh. My apologies, I probably should have explained a little more first. It's actually a very simple reason. I'm here because I sit on the Thor's Military Academy's board of fucking directors. I knew it! Every single time, every single parent in this group is on the board of directors. Like, do they not notice the pattern here? Like, come on! You what? How? Even Yusu is like, there's no way this is a coincidence. First Yusu's brother, then Alyssa's mother, and now Marcus's father? It stretches the bounds of imagination to believe the Academy's choice of directors is mere coincidence. Haha, <laughs> I can assure you the three of us didn't arrange for it to be that way. If anything, I would I was unsure what to do when the Academy first offered the position to me. The Academy dude? Would I be right in assuming there's some kind of secret reason behind the formation of Class 7? I'm afraid that's not my place to say, but whatever the case may be, I'm the third and final member of the board of directors, and that's why I'm the one who's prepared your field study task and arranged laundry for you all. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's all starting to make sense now. Thanks for clearing it up, sir. Anyway, back to what you were saying before. Yes, as I said, I'm short on time, so I'm afraid I'll have to keep this brief. Your field study will take place over three days, of which this is the first. As such, the third day will coincide with the start of the summer festival. Each group will be assigned half of the city and tend to a list of needs I've drawn up for you. So our group will take the eastern half of the city and the other group the west? The city is big enough that it looks like we'll be working apart even though we're in the same place. Indeed, I'm sure you'll, you've will you seen for yourselves how vast Heimdall is. If both groups were to rove around the entire city, you'd have trouble getting anything done. As much, I've broken it down so that all Group A's tasks cover the area east of Vanker Street. While well, Group B's tasks are focused on the area west of Vanker Street. Must be an important street. I believe Vanker Street is the main thoroughfare that runs the city, leading the Imperial Palace. That's the one, as long as we leave the station, you'll see it stretching out to the north. It's hardly a precision division, but for the purpose of this field study, I'm sure it'll be more than sufficient. Now I'd like each group to take on these envelopes. This envelope looks like just like the ones we usually get with our field study in itinerary. And what about this address and key? Oh, Lotto Street? That's from where my family lives. Really? Yup. Can't say the address brings any particular place to mind, though. I seem to remember Vesta Street being the main street of the west side of the city. Yes, it's a fairly living, working class neighborhood. Dad, are these? That's right, the address of the places you'll be staying while you're here, along with their keys. Both groups will be staying in different places, so as you're just tracking down your lodgings before you start your work. Think of it as a small orienting exercise to help you get better feel for the city. Ah, uh, my apologies. I'm afraid I'll have to take my leave now. The dad? Preparations for the Sun Festival have me running from place to place, as you can imagine. I wish I could stay and chat a bit longer, but that's life and politics for you. Oh, and one more thing. The communications function of your Arcus has been enabled in the city. Good luck out there. Oh, wait, hold on, just a... He's like, Dad, I haven't seen you in months. I'm not sure what to make of it. Since he's the governor, I was expecting to seem a lot more strict, but he actually seems more playful. Gah! I feel ashamed you had to see that. He's always been like that, I'm afraid. At least he manages to fulfill his responsibility as governor somehow. 
Actually, I heard he's extremely good at his job. Coming from the background he does, he's friendly and down to earth. But people say he's a born leader too. <laughs> the Imperial Chronicles always paint him in a favorable light as well. I hear he butts with the noble faction far less than his fellow reformers, Chancellor of Obstin. Hmm. In politics, a friendly demeanor can just as easily be an act to sway popular sentiment. After all, there aren't many who can waltz in and borrow meeting place from the RMP. And that is true. Well, the capital is the nexus and the heart of the nation's entire railway network. As such, the railway military police find itself indebted daily to Governor Rexon's good graces. This is just an opportunity for us to return the favor, at least a little. Hmm. C -c come on now. Well, thank you for allowing us to use this room for our meeting. We need to get out our fields are underway, so if you'll excuse us. Of course, I wish you well in your studies. And if you'll follow me, I'll escort you to your station's exit. Are we about to explore the city now? Oh no, what's happening? Incredible! It's so fast. Yeah, this is the big, biggest city that they've been to by far. I wonder how far we can go. The size of the city never ceases to amaze me. Way too many people. It only starts to sink in that I'm in the capital after I see an orbital tram zipping along. Is that what those little train vehicles are? I never had the opportunity to ride one, but I believe they're used to ferry people around the city more easily. Yeah, they're the main form of public transportation here. They link all 16 of the capital's main districts. There's something of an icon here in Heimdall. Their fare is pretty cheap too, which makes them convenient for getting around. Lots of people use them so often that they just buy a yearly pass. Amazing! All that and so many oral cars on the roads too. Is that building off in the distance? That would be the Valfheim Palace, residence of His Majesty the Emperor. Although from what I understand, the Chancellor's option Imperial Government is also situated within. Yes, that's the case. Anyway, I'll be taking my leave here. I wish you the best of luck on your three days of field study. So thank you! Thanks for taking the time to see us off. They are just so curious about why their class exists. Like, they're just like, tell us! Why does our class exist? Tell us now! She really doesn't seem like an army officer, does she? Indeed, though the ruin multi police is known as one of the Imperial's army's most elite divisions. Not to mention one of the branches most despised by the Akustri. If a province has a railway, you can virtually guarantee they'll use it as an excuse to meddle in security affairs. I've rarely seen them in the gram, but judged by their actions during the encounter in the natural park, they do seem especially well trained. Yeah, even with the same number of soldiers, they had no trouble rolling right over the provincial army. And on top of that, the captain's so elegant and pretty. She even looks good in uniforms. People have all the luck. It's like she's everything Sarah isn't. Haha, <laughs> you can say that again. Though it seems like those two have more than a little history between them. Alright, I suppose we'll have to get moving then. Yeah, we'll need to hop a tram where our lodgings are, then find the address we've been given. We've got a long three days ahead of us, so let's give them our best. You can count on it. Fee, Laura, take care of yourselves. You too. May the gods be with you all. Take care. Alright, bye for now then. This eastbound orbital tram will be departing momentarily. All those wishing to board, please do as at this time. And <laughs> they start running like, oh shit.
haven't been to the capital in a long time, but I've always surprised at just how big the street is. Huh, really? This view is nothing special to those who've lived here all our, li all our lives, but I suppose seeing all the orbital cars and trams sipping along must be a real sight to, to people from the provinces. Indeed, even though in my home, province people are depending less and less on horse-drawn carriages, I've never seen so many orbital cars in one place before. Well, even here, carriages were the standard up until around 20 years ago, but these days they seem kind of quaint. You don't really see them anymore. The Republic capital has a lot of cars too, just like this. After that, Crossroad probably has the most. Oh, really? You've done a lot of traveling for someone your age. Though I guess when you were in a... Yep, Jaeger work takes you places. Her face just now when she turned, she's like... Ugh! Like... Take a chill pill, Laura. Like, she's not doing it on purpose. She's just like, yeah, I was in Jaeger Corps. I was a freaking mercenary. Get the fuck over it. That's literally Fee Fee's attitude right now. She just kind of like, get over it. Like, can't change the past. Like, jeez. Anyway, what's all the street like? That's where we're staying while we're here, right? Isn't that where your house is, Elliot? Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty calm street, I guess. Uh, we should be taking the right here. A nice little shirt. I don't really find myself near Adventure all that often. Looks like you live in a nice part of the city, though. You, you think? And we should start looking for where our lodgings are. Oh, yeah, Elevate. I said Elevate. Elliot, you live around here, right? Why don't we drop by your house first? He's like, huh? Ah. Well, hmm, well, that does seem like a natural thing to do. I kind of want to see it. Well, it's near here, but still, I doubt my dad will be in. I'm not sure if my sis will be there either. Yeah, I think you mentioned having an older sister before. All the more reason to pay a visit then, right? Okay, if you insist, thanks. I think a part of him doesn't want to go home for some reason. He's kind of like, um... I think he's crossing his fingers. It's like, please don't be home, please don't be home, please don't be home. My house is a two-story place with all the flowers over there. Don't know if anyone's home right now, but we can at least have a look. Wow, you are really close to the tram. Like, that is super convenient. Like, literally, it's right there. It's literally like 20 steps away. It's been so long since I was last year that I feel a bit nervous. Huh, <laughs> don't worry, I know the feeling. No need for such ha hand wringing. It is your home after all. I know, but still. Okay, come on in. Wow, it feels like it's been ages since I was home. So this is Elliot's house. Oh, is someone there? I'll be with you in just a moment. Is that your sister? Ah, oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> Sorry for the what? What? Is she? She looks just like Elliot. Um, hi sis, I'm home. Elliot? Whoa! Oh my. It's you! It's really you! I didn't think I'd be able to see you again so soon. Oh, thank the goddess! Sis, sis, please! Not from my classmates! Haha, <laughs> looks like they get along pretty well. Yeah, I'm almost jealous. 
Fiona Craig. Ah. I'm Elliot's older sister, Fiona Craig. I'm here. I hear you've been saving my brother's skin at school. I'm so glad to finally meet all of you. Haha, <laughs> actually, Elliot's the one doing the saving most of the time. Indeed, his attendance has proven viable on many occasions. Yeah, yeah, it has. Are you blushing? <laughs> oh no, he has a crush. He's like, oh my god. Of course not. Why would I be? <laughs> you must be Reen, Laura, Machias, and Fee. Now I can see what you meant when you wrote that you've made some really interesting friends. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You're not teaching anyone piano classes today? As so happens, I have the day off. And none children have come by either, so we picked a good time to visit. Oh, you teach piano here at home? It looks like they own a business, because I see like a bar with plates and everything. I don't know if it's a restaurant or an inn. I don't know. Elliot is the wind orchestra uh, is in the wind orchestra at the cami too is everyone in this family a musician well almost my dad's not really the musical type he <laughs> couldn't carry a tune in a wheelbarrow i love the chance to go to a concert as, as a family once in a while but he's so busy with work that he really has a chance to come around and see us now that you mentioned it he's probably going to appear now what does your dad do anyway um, well... Oh, have you not told them? Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever saying. Is it something secret you can't talk about? Oh no, nothing like that. He's just... He's in the Imperial Army? And they're like, whoa, wait a minute. The Imperial Army, really? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Probably no way you guessed that looking at me, right? I didn't exactly hear the, f the physique. Haha, <laughs> you got a point. But man, the last name Craig in the army, it sounds really familiar. Wait, your father wouldn't happen to be Olaf Craig, would he? The Olaf Craig, the great lieutenant general of the Burn Armed Forces? Hee <laughs> hee, that's our dad, alright. I think I've heard of him. Many consider him the most familiar general in the Imperial Army. He is known more widely around the, Imperial, the Empire simply as Craig the Red. He leads the 4th Armored Division, which boasts the greatest firepower in the entire armed forces. Good God. I read about him in research I did before entering the academy, but I never put two and two together when I met Elliot. Come to think of it, doesn't Instructor Nedard come from the 4th Armored Division too? So he knew who he was related to from the get-go. Yeah, I met him through my dad before coming to the academy. Well, I'm not surprised you didn't peg me as Old Craig's son. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't find out. Elliot. Hmm. Doesn't take a second to see there's something going on there. Um, sorry. I didn't mean to make things all awkward like this. Just don't worry about it. Oh, right. Do you know of any hotels around here, Fiona? I've got an address for where we're staying, and it's apparently around here, but I've got no clue where it is, actually. What? You're not staying here? Well, well, we are in town for a field study. Besides, there aren't enough beds for all of us. But, but it's been so long since I last saw you. I guess you finally reached an age where it's not cool to give your sis big hugs anymore. I feel a little sad, but I guess we're all grow up. I'll still be watching over you, though. <laughs> sis, sis, please! His sister seems to be even more attached to him than he is to her. Still, that's kind of strange. There aren't any hotels in this area, at least not that I know of. Huh? Not at all? Perhaps my father gave us the wrong address? But your father doesn't seem like the type to make such a careless mistake. I'm not 100% sure, but can you show me the address he gave you? Oh, sure thing. It's written right here. We need to hand the memo with the address to the lodging to Fiona. Oh, I think I know where this is. Isn't this where the old bracer girl used to be? Oh! A guild branch? Are you sure? Yeah, an old friend of mine used to work there. Though we've been out of touch for a while now. Really? I had no idea. Bracers, huh? Still, I'm baffled as to why my father would choose to put us up in an old guild house. 
Well, we should at least go and have a look for ourselves. Do you know the way, Elliot? I think so. It should be just down the road from here. Aw, I was hoping you'd stay a bit longer. But if you have things to do, I'll just sit here alone. It'll make me make my day if you drop by for meals while you're here, though. I'll be more happy to cook for you all. That sounds great. What do you guys think? Well, if it wouldn't be any trouble, I'm not going to turn down home cooking. I'm in. Hehe, <laughs> that's the spirit. I'll be sure to treat you to the very best I can wake up this evening. So make sure you get plenty done today and wake up a real appetite. <laughs> it seems we have more than just the festival to look forward to now. You said it. Alright, let's hurry to the guild. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he has a very doting sister. She's like, oh my god, I thought Nurse you and I was like, he didn't go off to war or anything. Good god. But yeah, there's something going on between him and his dad because he's like, yeah, you wouldn't pick me as a son, would you? And it's like, sad face. It's like, ooh, we, we definitely got something going on here. Well, what's happening here? Whose room is this? Nothing worth seeing in there. Let's get going. Oh, is this your room, Elliot? Well, yeah, but it's... Man, it's a huge mess in there. Sorry, but really, you rather didn't see it, huh? No one gets that flustered over just a mess. Suspicious. Well, I can't believe that Elvit, of all people, would have indecent material lying about. Of course not. I'd just rather you didn't go inside, that's all. Uh -huh. Alright, if you insist. Yeah, you really stopped us there. Uh-huh, we won't come back to this room. Probably later. Because what's in there? I think I could guess. Because it's Elliot, so he's probably, he probably doesn't have anything like inappropriate or in there or something like that. It's it's probably something that he just, he's just embarrassed for other people to like look at. Can I go up here? Ooh, what's up here? Let's explore. Can I slash things? No, I can't slash things. Nope, you won't let me go that way either. How about this? Okay, this is it. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the place written on the memo. I didn't think we'd end up staying in the old guild branch. I'm guessing Group B has fixed up in the other one then. So there's more than one guild branch in the city? Yeah, back when the guild still had a presence in Highball, there were two branches. The guild pulled out the city over a year ago, though not so many pay much attention to these buildings now. Is that so? The guild still has an active branch in my home telegram. Really? That's more the exception than the rule these days. The building looks surprisingly new, considering they've been gone for over a year. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is true. It's not abandoned or anything, so maybe they use it for something else. Oh, that. That's because there was a big fire that swept through here about two years ago. They rebuilt the buildings after that, but they wound up getting shuttered when the guild left town anyway. No one knows for sure whether the fire was an axe or not. Some people still think it was set by terrorists. That's an unsettling thought. It's just a rumor, though. There's no proof or anything. Must have been that operation. Hmm? Nothing. And she's like, hmm... Anyway, let's head in, shall we? My father gave us the key, so we should be able to let ourselves in. Well, shall we open it? Of course, what, why else would we come all the way over here? I don't know why the game asked me that question. You know, I was actually expecting it to be way less tidy inside. There's some kind of notice post up on some of the walls and bulletin boards. It seems to be a notice of who's currently in charge of the building. Apparently it's currently owned by the local government. Well, that explains why the governor had the authority to let us stay here while we're in town. Which part are we staying in then? 
There's nothing but a reception counter down there, down here. So I suppose we're staying upstairs. Let's go drop our stuff and see what we got in store for today. Oh no, they're staying in the same room. Oh, they're gonna fight. He's prepared brand new beds for us and everything. Isn't that going a little far? This isn't a hotel. I'm not gonna complain. Your dad really seems like a nice guy. We should appreciate his consideration. All right, now that we've got all our lodging started out, time to take a look at today's task. Oh my God, what we got? Okay, so we got underground. Oh, most of these are required. Well, that's for most of the Most, almost everything's like required. Hmm, the task Maki's father selected certainly showed the verity one would expect from the city this size. Yeah, we'll need to make sure we know exactly what each task involves before taking it on. Our group's covering the area east of Valkyrie Street, so it might be a good idea to go around and scope out all these places before noon. Agreed. I want to get an idea of where everything is. We can use the orbital trams to visit all the relevant locations on this side of the city while we're going through our tasks. You, you two are right with being our travel guides? Of course, we might as well put our knowledge to use. It may be hard to show you around the city this size, but I'll give you as a grand tour as I can. Sis said that she'll fix it in for us, so let's head back here when it starts getting late. Yeah, once we're done with everything, let's go to Elliot's house. Okay, let's keep moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Understood. Let's all do what we can to ensure we're not shown up by Group B. In a cafe somewhere. Oh wait, it's right here. Where are you? All right, thank you. Oh, welcome back, Elliot. See you walk in, it's like nothing's changed. Glad to see that you're doing well, Hemin. Is he no friend of yours? Yep, let me introduce you. Hemin used to be a famous musician, but now he's settled down and owns this place. Fiona and I have known him since we were kids, and we owe him a lot. This place is pretty popular, too. If you're involved with music in Heimdall, you probably know it all. Fascinating. I wasn't even aware this place existed. It's kind of relaxing. Oh, thank you. Now that the introductions are out of the way, you send a request for us to take care of something? I did, in fact. Can you start right away? Should we read? Hmm. Yep. Sure, my tell us what you need. The request mentioned that one of your favorite records was smashed. That's right. It happened while I was trying to change around the store's layout. End up knocking one of the shelves over by mistake, which in turn led me to, to the record falling out and shattering. What terrible luck. Which record was it? Tragic enough, it was Amber and Mirror. Oh no, you played that one every night. If it came out over 30 years ago, it has become rather hard to find, yes. You know your music, the winner sure would be proud. Haha, uh -huh, maybe. I've got plenty of other records to play while I look for a replacement, so it's not an insert problem. I'm more worried about the fact that I have an old friend standing by this evening who really loves that song. That's why I'd like to ask you if you can find me a replacement before the end of the day. Makes sense. I've seen your search for all the nearby record stores already. I did, but none of them had in stock. This is a big city though. I haven't given up on it just yet. Which is why I said to request you away. Then we have our work cut out for us. Does anyone know of any stores that might sell old records? Hmm, you might, find, you might want to ask Fiona about that. Oh yeah, I suppose the piano instructor would know where to buy records. Probably knows every store. My thoughts exactly, she's probably our best bet. Then we know where to start, hopefully she'll be able to help us. Look at you kids, already filming a plan. Here Elliot, you should cover the cost of the record if you manage to find it. Thanks. Okay, we're off to find that record. I'm sure you will. I mean, so like he's got like, like he's a smoker or something. Like, <laughs> all 
I was trying to give him an old man voice, but it was just like, it failed. I was like, ugh. He sounds like he smokes every hour on the dots. Oh, hello everyone. Is there something I can help you with? We hope so. It'll explain the Hemming asked them to search for a copy of a... Oh no, poor Hemming. That might be a hard record to find though. As far as I can remember, most tourists here don't stock it anymore. That's what we were afraid of. But that's why we came to you. We thought you might know some other way we can get our hands on it. Hmm, this is something of a long shot, but how about asking over at Plaza Bifrost on Valkyrie Street? That's not a suggestion I was expecting. Same here. I don't remember there being any music stores in there. Did they add one while I was gone? Not within the building itself, no. However, Plaza Bifrost actually has a number of partner stores all throughout the city, some of which sell records. So if you ask there, they'll be able to check if any of them have a copy in stock. That's quite the trick. I'm impressed. Well, you learn these kinds of things as you grow up. Aren't you lucky to have such a reliable sister, Elliot? And so humble too, but I can't deny that you really helped us out. Thanks a lot. We'll have straight for Plaza Bifrost now. <laughs> Just remember to be careful. She's really crazy about her brother, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of jealous. Come on, god dang! <laughs> you gotta stop by a pole, I'm like, hello? They said Falker Street, right? I don't know if I picked the, r the right street or not, but we about to find out. That looks like Monkey's dad, only he dyed his hair purple. Okay, so we are in the right place. I see the sign. Okay, good. Whew. So this is Valkyrie Street. It sure is busy. busy. Uh -huh, of course, it's the biggest street in Heimdall. There's more to it than just a plaza Bifrost too, which means you'll see lots of different types of people. Different types of people in different types of orbital vehicles, it seems. Well, that's partly due to the Imperial Transportation Act that came into effect last year. Don't run to the road, Machias. You're the last person I need to treat me like a child. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyway, it sounds like we'll be coming here a lot during our visit. We better take the chance to formalize ourselves with our shops here. And we'll do all that in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed and loved all the new characters that decided to come into this video. I love Elliot and Fiona's little brother's relation. It is so cute. But we're gonna go ahead. Yes, sir. What, what do you want, sir? Like, leave me alone. But, um... We're going to go ahead and complete some of the missions in the next video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! See you later!